20 plus years of experience in blue chip enterprises. He's delivering industrial field experience with sound executive leadership, team management, and success. He is an optimistic individual that focuses on positives in his personal and professional life, enjoys reading, travel, and watching sports, as well as learning through media, books, and interactions with others. He has a powerful global network combined with extremely strong negotiation skills and a capacity to motivate all stakeholders with engaging team management. Next in the panel, we have Mr. Krishna Sahai, Deputy General Manager HR at Jindal Steel and Power Limited, where he has executed a myriad of HR functions, such as managing HR shared services with the build operate transition methodology, re-engineering the operating model to fit current business strategy by standardizing processes, policies, and lead transitions into shared service, optimizing HRIS systems to meet workforce requirements, and creating opportunities for automation, improvement in HR system, processes to drive accuracy and functional effectiveness. An HR veteran with a work experience spanning over 14 plus years, Mr. Sahai has completed his EDHRM from XLRA Jamshedpur and has also been engaged with various other organizations, both in India and abroad, where he has exuded his HR acumen and delivered excellent uh, HR business solutions. Next, we also have Dr. G.P. Rao with us today, who has a total of 37 years of experience in the HR field and has worked in various organizations such as JK Tire and Industries, Reliance Industries, and is currently the founder and managing partner in GPR HR Consulting Fund. He is qualified in public administration, HR, general management, and law. He has held various positions such as National Secretary, NHRD, Assistant Governor of Rotary International, and Area Director of Business Network International. Dr. Rao has received various awards in India, as well as abroad, such as NHRD and Excellence Award, HR Leader of the Year Award, Achievers Award, HR Leadership Excellence Award, and so many more. Moving on to our moderator for the evening, we have Dr. Arup Roy Chaudhary, Assistant Professor at Xavier School of Human Resources and a visiting professor at XLRA Jamshedpur. As someone who has completed his PGDM in IR from XISS, FPM and PG in general management from XLRA Jamshedpur, he has published various journals, his latest one being in 2019, Optimizing Manpower Planning, a goal programming approach, which was published in the Indian Journal of Industrial Relations. During his corporate stint at Tata Steel, he has been instrumental in designing the central talent development strategy, framework, processes and practices, high performance talent management systems, HR policies and practices, for which he was also awarded. Now, I would like to introduce our respected father, Anthony Joseph Raj, who is a deputy registrar. He has been our guide and a pathfinder in leading our prestigious institute to success. He is a go-to counselor and is very much keen in the learnings of Indian sociology, soft skills, organizational behavior, and positive psychology. He also has a book published by the name of Displacement and Rehabilitation in the Tribal Areas of Orissa. Thank you so much, Father Anthony, for taking your time to be present here, as well as sharing your experiences for this webinar. I would really request you to share a few words and shed some light on today's topic. Father, Father you are on mute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Freni, for those warm words of welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, good evening to one and all, especially to our eminent panelists, the three stalwarts who have taken their very valuable time, especially on a Sunday evening, uh, to be with uh, all of you, all of us, and uh, a very warm welcome also to Professor Aruprai Chaudhary, the moderator of this uh, webinar. And uh, as uh, Freni just now mentioned, uh, I am personally interested in this webinar, and uh, congratulations to Press, uh, Prasam, Prashita Pandey, Keda Thakur, Piyush Agarwal, Divisha Jain uh, and uh, Sukriti Garg, Sukriti Garg, for uh, this timely webinar, very very timely webinar, and a very relevant topic. I, for one, uh, as a way of introducing the seminar, uh, this webinar, I, for one, I am here for uh, six reasons actually, six reasons. As one, trying to process the depth of uh, two of my relatives, uh, COVID-related deaths. I'm still trying to process it. 
uh, as one feeling very helpless in not being able to be physically with my dad, uh, amnesic dad, you know, who is in Tamil Nadu, 84 year old. I'm not able to go there to be with him because he's not able to make meaning out of what is happening, you know, from March. Uh, I'm also trying to come to terms with my own, uh, I would say, realistic fear of infection because I am in constant contact with uh, all our co-workers in the university. And uh, we have had recently, as you all know, uh, you must have seen in the academic information system that we are, we are shut down, the university, you know, uh, the gates are locked. Uh, because of a recent spurt spike in cases within the university, those, those coming to work, and we'll be reopening only on 28th. So I'm also afraid. I'm, I'm trying to come to terms with my own fear. As, as one who has also lived through, in Odisha, through various disasters, because we are disaster-prone state, Odisha state. You know, we have... We are, we are used to disasters, natural disasters, and even human disasters, human-made, man-made disasters, like the one on Hodamal program, for example. So we have that resilience. And therefore, I, I'm still trying to make meaning out of uh, what I'm going through, because I know that I am resilient. I know my state is resilient, you know. But the, the recent experience of this uh, 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 pandemic is very, very unnerving. In spite of all this, as one trying to be with, uh, as I'm in charge of this campus, to be with uh, anyone who walks into my office or meets me on the hallway, and uh, trying to be with that one who is very, very anxious, afraid, and even with uh, uh, a few of you who even call me at night, to share what you're going through, you know, as one trying to process in myself at the same time simultaneously to be uh, a present, uh, to be present to the one who needs my concern and care. And I'm also getting ready to mentor an elective soon on counseling practice in workplace. That is the sixth reason. So I am here for all these reasons, basically. And, uh, Thank you for, you know, inviting me to this webinar, especially PRISM, and uh, in coordination with the Student Executive Council. I wish you the very best, and I welcome our eminent panelists, especially in the name of our esteemed Vice Chancellor, all the faculty and the staff, and the students. Thank you very much.